Hey, this is Rene. Welcome to another video on this channel. And in this video, we will have a uh, short programming tutorial for um, a MetaTrader 5 expert advisor that trades signals um, um, that are um, yeah, based on two moving averages or a RSI and a moving average indicator. Because this was requested several times. Um, so let me explain this one more time. We know a simple moving average already. This is like the classical moving average over the past um, or the previous, for example, 50 periods. And this is just a uh, average calculation of the um, previous 50 bars. And then we have another moving average and you have the option in MetaTrader 5 to apply a moving average on um, previous indicators data. And this is what we did here. So this um, uh, violet uh, moving average, 20 period, is attached to the green moving average pretty much. So it all, always displays the um, previous or the screen's moving average indicator data um, and it takes the last 20 of these indicator values and calculates the average um, of these 20 um, moving average values and then displace it in this violet moving average. And the same um, is possible for other indicators like for example the RSI or the CCI or any oscillator that um, draws a separate indicator value. Here you can also attach a moving average to this um, indicator window and yeah, calculate it on the displayed indicator. For example, this red moving average down here is based on the RSI indicator of this indicator um, window. So let's jump right into the programming. So first of all, to start a new MetaTrader 5 program, you click on M uh, MetaQuotes language editor in the upper left corner, and then this will open the um, Meta editor. And in the meta editor, we then create a new expert advisor, clicking on new in the upper left corner. Then we click on next. We provide a name, um, MA on another indicator. Um, you can choose whatever name you like. You click on next, next, and finish. And this will create a new expert advisor for you. Let me just remove all these gray lines here. You can just do what I do here because these are just comments and they do not affect the, um, uh, um, the, the functionality of the program in any way. So what we have left is um, we have left the three basic functions for any expert advisor. And since we are working with um, indicators, we need handles. So for example, we can have a handle for a moving average and this is now our, um, or we, we can have another handle. We will have handle MA base and handle moving average. So the base moving average will be, if we stick to this example, will be the green one where the other one is based upon. So um, first we have this base moving average so we can say handle ma base is equal to ima and then we say symbol for the current chart symbol we can have the current chart period and then we can have the ma period in this case we have um, a 50 periods moving average and then we have the moving average shift value this will be zero in this case we have a simple moving average as a MA method and the applied price is price close. So this is pretty much exactly this indicator. So 50 periods, method is simple, applied price is the close price and shift value is zero, of course. So now, since we want to have a moving average that is based on this first moving average, we then can say handle moving average. And this is the second handle that we created here, which is just a integer variable as always. And then we can uh, call this IMA function again, again on the current time frame. Then we have the periods, and this time it was 20 periods. And the mode is still mode SMA. And 
Now there's the important change. The applied price is not the close price, but it is another handle. So we can say we want this um, second moving average to be based on the base moving average. So we say that this second moving average has 20 periods. It is a simple moving average and this is just these are just the settings here. So we have a 20 period simple moving average and it is applied to the previous indicator data. And in, in the programming, you do not choose the previous indicator data, but you can specify the exact uh, indicator that this moving average should be based on. So in this case, we can choose the handle of this base indicator. What we can do now in the uh, on tick function, we can say, um, we want um, to calculate the values um, of these two um, indicators. So we choose the uh, we use the copy buffer function for this, of course. We choose the handle MA. The buffer number is the main line, of course. Then we have the starting position. This might be one, a count of one. And we store the values inside of this MA array. And we do the same for the MA base um, indicator and we store the value in the MA base array. And now we can use a comment to print these values in the chart. So for example, we can say the MA value is um, the value in this, this MA array at index zero. And we have the MA base value, which is of course the value from this MA base array at index zero. And that's it. So if we compile this and if we now run this program in the chart, so we go back to the MetaTrader, we search for expert advisors, then we go to uh, MA on another indicator, we attach it to the chart, click on OK, and now we should see that we have the values of these two indicators in the upper left corner. So let's have a look at this. Um, there is the value of the um, MA base, um, oh, this looks a little bit weird. Wait, let me fix this double to string. Oh, why is it? Uh, like this. Um, okay. The value is the same. So this is not really Beautiful, let's change to another time frame. There, the value is different for the last bar. So let's have a look at this. Um, now in the in the data window, we can now see, so this MA50 is, is the, um, uh, the base, I think. Yeah, so it should be the value displayed in the upper left corner for MA base, and this is true. And the second one is the normal MA in this value is also the one displayed in the upper left corner for the last or for the previous bar. So this seems to work. Um, great. And now we could do any calculation with this. So now, for example, we could write an expert advisor that trades these crossovers. But I do not want to do this in this tutorial. This is something that we did a lot of times before. So um, in this particular tutorial, I just want to demonstrate like this concept of applying a moving average to any other indicator. So what we can do, since we now did this with uh, um, a moving average, we can do the same, of course, with a RSI indicator. So for example, we can say, we now calculate the RSI indicator using the IRSI function, and then we can exchange some of these parameters because we only need the period and the applied price. It should be 14 periods for a typical RSI. Oh no, it's 10 periods in this case, and the close price is the applied price. So we change it like this. And now for the moving average, we of course have to provide the handle of this RSI um, indicator. Um, so we have RSI base here. So we have handle RSI base and um, RSI base like this. I hope I'm not making any mistakes since I'm doing this like really fast right now. So let me exchange all these and this should already be enough to calculate the um, 
moving average on this um, RSI indicator. So there's one more thing I have to change because in the chart there is the 50 period moving average applied to the RSI and now we can change it and uh, we can check it. So have a look at these two values here, the RSI and the MA value and these should be the values displayed in the upper left corner. So you can see the RSI base value is correct. It is of course rounded to a precision of two digits after the um, decimal point and then there's the moving average which is also the correct value for this moving average in the um, RSI indicator window. So what we learned in this video is how we can um, have a moving average that is calculated based on the prices of another moving average. This is what we did in uh, the first part of this video and then in the second part or just some minutes ago we then calculated the moving average um, based on another indicator for example the RSI indicator and this is just to demonstrate this concept you can of course modify this you can for example say you want to calculate it on a CCI indicator or pretty much any other indicator. What is also important is I think um, this mechanism only works if you have a base indicator that has only one buffer because if you have a for example a Donkian channel uh, no sorry yeah I mean a Donkian channel would be also correct but if you have something like a, a Bollinger Bands indicator where you have several lines like this upper line, the lower line and the main line, if you would attach uh, or if you would take a moving average and calculate it based on the Bollinger Bands indicator, I think it would be always based on the main line because you cannot choose um, the buffer number th that you want to calculate the moving average on. So you only provide a handle and I think it on always um, chooses the main line to be calculated on. So this is um, a little bit, um, yeah, this is important to remember if you have an um, indicator that has several lines like the Bollinger Bands indicator. But in this case, of course, you can also um, write another moving average or a function that just takes the um, previous, for example, 10 values of the upper band and then just calculates the average, which is not really a complex task. So this is it for this short tutorial. You can take this code and you can build systems based on it. For example, open positions if the lines cross. And yeah, hope you learned something in this tutorial. Um, and as always, let me know what you want to learn on this channel in the comments below. And if you um, want to learn all the MetaTrader programming basics, then you should check out the links below this video. There is a full course on MQL5 programming, which is currently still pretty much in the release phase and it's still cheaper than I um, wanted it to be. So the price will rise um, in the next days or weeks. Um, so this is still a great chance to get the, um, the course at a cheaper price. So um, yeah, this is it. Hope you like the video. See you next time. Bye.